You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and check it out. I have a Zing FireTech Xeon bow with super soft suction cup darts. Now, unfortunately, it's raining today, so I have to uh, do all of this inside. But based on all of our other experiences with Zing toys, it's lived up to the expectations of flight paths of the 35 feet. So today I guess I'll be aiming indoors and at surfaces to see how they stick and everything. And I can get a rough idea on distance, but it does say great for indoors, furniture friendly. All right, well that answers that. So now I'm okay with it. Let's see, light up. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Whoa, 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 okay. Light up the day or night with the Xeon bow. Fire up the zarts, blaze arrows, hook for hook the arrows in the fast load loops, then ready, aim, fire. Watch as they light up the sky and fly up to 35 feet. Practice indoors or outdoors. You've got the power with the Xeon bow. There's a little switch here. Flip the switch on your fire tech arrow found right under the nose. Hook arrow on loops and pull back to launch. Here's how to hold, grab here. Don't grab or pull the fins. Fun for home, office, or outside. Let's see, what else we got here? Okay, here we go. The FireTech Rockets, which we've done. The FireTech Bow, which we have done. There is Zing, zingtoyshop.com. All right, I will come back. It seems like it's gonna take a little bit to get it out of the packaging, which I will do. And then we'll check it out before we actually start shooting targets. All right, here we go, our Zarts. Remember, there's three in the package, and our Xeon bow. Let me move this out of the way. We'll get to those in just a second. Let's check out the bow itself. Your hand would go here like this. You're pulling back this way and launching, so there's pretty good tension on that. And it just loops through here and then into this section here. And then this looks like where you'd store a dart, or a Zart, sorry. So you push this in, probably. Yep, there you go. Hmm. Is it in all the way? There we go. No, it's not. It keeps wanting to pop out. Let me try it this way and see. Ah, there we go. That's better. So you'd store those in there. That's pretty cool. And then let's just test one on here and see. So I'm holding it like this, and I'm going like this. Remember now not to hold it from the fins, but you're holding it from this whoa, piece in the back. That, you don't want to happen. So you're holding it from this in the back, all right? So let's check out these in a little more detail. So there's three soft, foamy fins. Okay, and you've got this pulling thing here where you hold on to. Remember, they light up, so let's do that. Ooh, okay. Let's get the third one in here and light that up. I like to just test one real quick right here straight down or something so we could just see how hard it's gonna hit okay so I'm this way now straight down here we go pretty good let me turn out the lights here let me do that we'll check these out in the dark and then we'll set up the targets and shoot some things all right so I'm in the dark now check that out I would say they light up pretty cool look at how the little attachment points light up down here now I set up my one of my sticky backs or one of my glass boards back here to see if I can shoot directly into one and get it to stick. So let's try it. I'll hold this right here so you could can you see it glowing? Here it goes. Ooh. Took a while for the camera to focus in on that. Let's do another one. And it sticks pretty good. Here we go. Right next to it. Ooh, let's see if I can do one right above that. Let's see if my aim is good enough. Right above it. Ooh, a little higher than I wanted. They stick great. Okay, so let me straighten that up again. Let's do it again. This is fun. This is the best part, actually. Here we go. One. Okay, let's see if I can get them all real close. Two. Now if I can get one in the middle of those two, yeah, I can shoot okay. Here we go. Ooh, it did it, but it bounced out. Let me try it again. 
That's a do-over. Maybe it hit one of the edges of another one. Here we go. Ah, it's just not hitting right. Maybe because the angle is changing. Let me tilt it back up just a little. Here we go. One more time. This is it. Not bad, I would say. Here, let me turn it to the side so you can kind of see it. Look at that. See? All stuck on there. All right. Let me go back to my regular targeting system. Set that up and we'll try it even more. Test it out. All right. Here we go. As you can see, I've expanded my targets. Why? Because I feel that my standard targeting system will not hold up fairly well to the Xeon bow. So let me shoot the... I've got three initial shots and I'll have to track down my Zarts. So let me, uh, let me see here. Let me hit that red cup on the right. Let's see if we can do some damage to it. Here we go. Yes! As expected, it does a lot of damage. So let me... Uh, let's see. Now, no physical damage, but as you can see, it took out almost everything on the table. Wow. Let's move that out of the way. You look like you're going to be is easily knocked over. So let's put these back. We'll leave this out of the way. And then I want to hit those cans. So I think the cans will be fun and loud. So I will aim for the bottom two. Here we go. All right, let's kind of see what that did in there. huh? Let's check it out. Look at this. So this can physically dented. Let's see. Let's do it again. Let's pretend that's our target. Now I'm a little closer. And I'm just aiming for that can. So now I'm going to put it in a distance where you can actually see it. Here we go. All right. So here is your can. So that's probably a good reason why I'm not going to shoot at my regular targets. Now I could aim a little less aggressive, right? But I'd still say that's pretty good damage. Here we go. I'll back up on this one now just to see it hit it. I'll keep it close up so you can kind of see the point of impact. Here we go. Ready, set. I had to hook on. Here we go. Hook on, hook on, hook on. I think a good test would be for to see if I can do how fast I can load all three. So right at the 7-up. I think I hit the red dot on that. Wow. No reason to hit that. But it might be fun to hit the top of this, see if we can knock into that. Let's put it back there as a little resting spot. All right, let's see if we could just go right through that lid. Here we go. I'll be aiming down. So let's just say I'm here, I'm up on an angle. I'm pretty close, probably two feet away. Here we go. Ooh, did not penetrate the top, but still, I felt it. Let me clean up, come back, grab my three zarts and then do a quick load fire and see how that works. All right, so I have it set up like this. I'll have one in my hand, which I'll initially get set, because that's, I think, the place to start. Then I'll take this one off, shoot it, this one off, and shoot it, and I'll be timing this, and I'll try to hit each can with a different dart. So I'm gonna start with the far right can, and I have my timer, but I might need to use the YouTube timer, because I'll have to put my hand up and down. So I'm gonna start it. And I'll probably lose a second. So here we go. From right to left. Loading second one. Loading third. All right. So that was less than 10 seconds, I would say. 10 or 11 seconds. I'm going to say it's uh, very accurate. It uh, shoots... Really nice, and as you can see, it does damage. But let me do this. Let me just turn off the lights and do that one more time in the dark. Okay, here we go. I have the same setup as before. You can kind of see it. See that? So they're set. I will load my first one. And I added those extra lights just to give us a little focal point there for the camera. So here we go. In the dark. Oh, by the way, I need to turn them all on. Here, let me show it to you this way. This looks really cool. Check that out. Ooh, I just want to shoot it right at that can real close. All right, so here we go. Now you'll be able to see him shooting. So remember, I'll lose a second or two when I reach down to start my timer. But then I'll come back up and shoot the can on the right. Here we go. Start. Ooh, I lost a can. Let me hit something in the back. 
Oh, it's stuck. Oh, and it fell off. Cool. That was less than 10 seconds. All right. I'm going to end there and say very cool and fun. Cans everywhere. It actually stuck to that metal target. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more cool stuff like this, look in the description. We'll have a link there. Or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. That looks cool like that. Target shooting in the dark. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.